Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi Agus here, the Crypto Pi. And today we're going to be talking about the market, guys, and my plan. Alright, what is my plan? So I'm just going over my personal plan here. So let's first take a look at the cryptocurrency market cap, guys. Right now we're at 411 billion. Let me refresh that. 411 billion, yeah, nearly 412. Um, but guys, honestly, all we have to do is go look at the Bitcoin chart, alright? And just by looking at the Bitcoin chart, we're gonna just basically, I'm gonna tell you my plan. Alright, so we had a A, B, and you know, like this huge C, right? So, um, yeah, so my plan, guys, is we had five ways down here, but that, that's, that's all history, guys. We don't even need to look at that anymore. So, what do we have right now? Well, this, we can't really count the waves on the four hour, right? We can only count them on a very low time frame. Which is, you know, it's it's useful. It's useful in some cases, you know. You could you could be counting, right? You could be one, two, three, four, five, and then you get like an extended uh, wave five or A B C kinda, and then. But it, the counting on here is very ugly, guys. Whether you wanna, you know, see it or not, it it is very ugly. So the way I look at it right now is we just need to stay in this channel guys right you can draw this channel on your your own chart and if we break below this we could go back visit areas back down here guys so all we need to do for that is just take our Fibonacci from the bottom here to this top right and uh, you can see that actually this this long ass trend line is near the 61618 right 0.5618 in this zone 7.4 but we could also go all the way back down to six areas guys or even making lower low because remember what i said on the bigger time frame we're not done we're not done okay so unless uh, it tells me otherwise and we break through here then we're, we're good but if that doesn't happen then we, we got a count right we got a count guys so we have a this was our top here and we got an a um b and this is c wave so c wave needs to have five guys all right so one uh two well c and this could be three guys and that's four where's five right where's five guys where is it it's gonna be here at exactly this wick okay this this would be nice five right at 5.2k do you wanna go back to 5.2k guys? I don't, I don't, alright, I don't. So, but if, if it is the truth guys, if, if that's what's happening, and it could be happening if we fall out of this channel we've been in for a while. Um, how long have we, have we been in this channel guys? Let's take a look. We've been in here for like 3 days, like nearly 4 days now. Okay, so, that is, that is just something you gotta keep in mind guys, so, if we fall down, where are we going? Where are we going? All right, 5.2k seems very reasonable. So my plan then is obviously you don't want to sell here, right? So we are right now. If we just go to the lower time frames, 15 minutes, we are bearish, guys. All right, the EMA has crossed down. We are bearish. So um, that's something to look at. Also, let's take let's let's just get my my cloud back up here, guys. So you see like we we wanted to go into the cloud but then we rejected it. So I don't always have the cloud up there guys. I sometimes have it, sometimes I don't. But I always have it here so I can switch it on and off right in order to see where we're going. And uh, yeah we tried to get into it but we, we just didn't make it. We just didn't, we didn't make it. So that is a bearish scenario in my, my eyes right. So well what do you look at then right. Well like 8.4, 8.5. Okay, all right, that is nice if we get back up there. So if we get back up there, you really got to plan, you got to do what, you know, what you think is right. But obviously if this is going to cross down on the hourly as well, well, let's see last time it did that guys, all right? We were up here at 11K, it crossed down, all right? It tried to cross back up here, but no. Uh, we went all the way from 11 to 6K. So what if we go all the way from 8.5 then, around 8.5, all the way to 5, right? 
you don't want to be in there guys all right you don't want to be in there because what do you think will happen to the alts all right so let's just let's just go scroll through the alts here right guys uh ada what what do you think ada will do well most likely it will go back down here right it goes all the way back down here guys do you want to be in that let's say you're holding ada i'm not but let's say you are you lose another 20 percent even though bitcoin's dropping you lose another 20 percent on top of that so guys when bitcoin's dropping hard you don't want to be in altcoins right because altcoins will drop major right they drop major when bitcoin drops and uh, that is just on top of your pain so um icon is dropping right it hit my stop guys you know i i believe in it long term cool that's cool but uh it hit my stop i, I so little profit that i have i mean i took some profit up here not much got stopped out um here as well took a little bit there and now got stopped out again because of this this support here and i mean what do you do right what do you do guys well i'll probably buy back more here because i believe in this but pff, it'll probably come here as well give me a nice gift right that is an extra that's a lot extra guys we're talking 200 icon extra or something that is good that's good but who knows it could even get down here how much extra would that give me how much extra would that give me guys 500 extra i take it all right so that's just how you look at it guys also uh people were like some people are saying well you know if bitcoin's not going then ethereum is gonna do it well look at this uh, look at this guys all right it's the same thing it's the same thing as bitcoin all right so if bitcoin falls it will most likely ethereum will go back down here as well 500 something like that so you gotta have your plan ready guys all right that's all i'm saying you gotta have your plan ready if we are going down okay this is already really far down right for us hodlers um you know we are all learning in this field i'm learning as well i didn't take all my profits up here you know i'm just as stupid as you guys so you know we're all learning and even though I knew already quite a bit about technical analysis, it's just emotion, guys, you know. I was like Bitcoin to the moon, <laughs> like a lot of you guys, right? And I didn't follow my own TA. So, stupid me, because normally what I do when we hit the top and we go, like, so fast down, I take my Fibonacci from there, up there, and I sell around the green area, right? So I would have sold, like, up here at 16,000. And I, that, I would have been fine, right? But no, I didn't follow my own TA. So uh, that's what, what what you get, right? And um, you gotta live with it. You gotta live with it, guys. So do I wanna make that same mistake twice if we go down again? Cause I, I, you know, my own TA tells me there's another wave down. No, I don't. I don't wanna do that same mistake again. So um, it's very simple, right? So from here, it's a 0.5 area. That's uh, if we take the Fibonacci from here, if we take it from here, um, it wouldn't make sense. It's like 786. Well, from here is the seven. So yeah, you, you know, you gotta take your profits, guys. All right, you gotta take your profits. I'm not saying it's doom, guys. It's doom for Bitcoin. But if this breaks, it will be. So um, what I am doing personally, guys, is I'm, well, my own TA tells me that we are getting one more wave down, right? We get one more wave down, guys. So, once more, we got to Let me just draw it for you guys. Let me draw it, right? So, we got an A, B, and C somewhere, right? We said about 52, right? So, let's put that A, B, C, okay? So, um, and uh, I don't wanna have it like that. I just wanna have this, without all the lines so let's just get rid of these lines so we have an abc right that's that's where point c is now now we're gonna draw the lines from b to c because that needs to be five waves guys all right i don't care about any of these waves in in between here uh, i've been i've been counting them quite a lot and they they're perfect all right it's a 335 in my opinion so um we get a one a two three four Bye. Excellent, right? Excellent. So, um, it's obviously not excellent for the price, but that would make sense to me in Elliott Way theory. So, it would just absolutely make sense to me, 
um, to go down there and to visit these wicks, guys. All right, so let's just make an area, right? Let's make an area where my buy zone will be. From this wick here, all the way down to this wick. I'd be interested here. Yeah, this is, I'd be interested in Bitcoin here. All right, very simple. Um, and that's when my my C wave is complete. Now let's do another check here. Let's take the trend based exten extension from the point B here to point one, point two. All right, so point three did not even a one to one. It did a little more than a seven eight six here. But probably if I put in the eight eight six, it will probably be there. Let me let me put it in, guys. Give me a second. Um, let's just get rid of the four here. Put in the eight eight six. Yeah, see, so I got to the eight eight six, guys. All right, that's another Fibonacci level. If you don't have it on there, put it on there. Um, it's good to have. So eight eight six, guys. All right. So where? So point C at a one to one. A little more than a one to one very likely right very likely um, so also so keep in mind this yeah keep this in mind the one to one now we do another one we go from the point two to the point three to the point four all right where's that guys where's that that leaves us at about the 618 from there um, the extension actually that's even a little higher so but if this is not the top yet and it will be like up here then it will make sense right but uh, for that Bitcoin needs to go up a little higher it's obviously not perfect guys but I think we will have another wave down so I will respond right I will respond to it and uh, definitely uh, do you know just ride it guys. <laughs> you know basically just ride it so the wave C is like here, right? So there you go. That is just the way I will play it, guys. So what am I doing right now? I am just patiently waiting Bitcoin for it to... Uh, let's get rid of these counts, guys. Let's get rid of these lines. So we know that now. Um, we know that we, we leave the, the green on there for the buy, right? And uh, we can get rid of the ABC as well. Actually, I can leave that on. I can leave that on, guys, because that is nice to know, right? Uh, my C is like here. Here. So, um, yeah. Let's just take a look at Bitcoin. What's going on right now? And uh, what am I looking at? Where do I want to get out of the market? Yes. Where do I want to get out of the market? In case we do get this done. Now, if Bitcoin proves me wrong, I have no problem jumping back in, guys. All right, I'm in in no time. So, but we, uh, you know, I did my own analysis. And if there's another fifth wave down, that's just very bearish, right? And uh, it could happen. So, where am I willing to sell? At least a little bit, not all, but a uh, majority of my coins. I'll sell around here guys, All right? 86, 87, something like that. If we get back above there, it'd be great. Uh, you know, we're getting into the cloud right now. Let's get rid of the cloud for now. Um, so yeah, like around here guys, sounds good. 85, 86, 87, yeah see, so around there. Um, I'm definitely taking some profits guys, right? For me, that's still profit, right? As crazy as it sounds, because I'm a I'm a I'm a Bitcoin since I've been Bitcoin since here, right? So for me, it's still profit, guys. Right? I bought, I obviously sold and bought and stuff like that, but it's definitely still profit. So it's obviously not the best, but now keep in mind, guys. Keep in mind, right? If we go really back down there. Where my line is, uh, let's scale Bitcoin here a little bit. So if we go from, let's say I would sell around here, right? 
we really go down there, I can put, I can buy a lot more Bitcoin, guys. All right, I would lose 40% of my value if I didn't. So, you know, if I buy more Bitcoin there, so if I would sell for eight four and buy back around five, well, you know, that's a lot more Bitcoin I can buy, guys. All right, so that is also why you do it. I obviously jump back in, but um, it's just to cover some, you know, taking some profits, guys. I know I should have taken all my profits here. I'm stupid, all right? But, you know, just like a lot of people, all right? A lot of technical analy analysis people on, on YouTube, they simply don't take their profit. Because, you know why, right? It's the emotion, guys. It's really hard especially with cryptocurrency you know we're big believes in Bitcoin right we think it's gonna crush the world well it is but it, it takes time and you, if, if we had taken profit here even the people that that taken profit and shorted it the way down they can still believe in it guys all right it has nothing to do with it they simply buy back here and they shorting and stuff to get more of these bitcoins all right they believe in it big time but they want more Cause that's the smart way to do it so guys that's what you know i'll leave you with that but basically that's the five waves i see so my c is down here guys around the 5k i know you don't want to hear it but that is what it is and uh, that's the bear scenario guys the bull scenario is totally different but right now we can't draw no bull scenario because we be we would only have a wave one then right it will just be like this one where's two guys it's two gonna be like here, something like that. Here, and then three, four, five. Who makes sense, right? But except for uh, we we don't see that, guys. Got to react to the market. So you know, um, that's how I see it, guys. Also, if you're not in the Crypto Pies block yet, join up with the Crypto Pies block where we talk among each other, where I. You know, post my technical analysis um, where we talk about ICOs, etc. It's just a great chat box to be in if you love crypto as much as we do. You know, feel free to join. Also, join up with the Crypto Pies feed where I post all my videos. I post, you could, I keep you guys up to date about just things that are going on in the crypto scene. Um, I keep you guys up to date about ICOs. However, my stance right now on ICOs is that. If the market's going down, guys, why would we be, be uh, buying ICOs, you know? I mean, let's say you would buy an ICO right now for Ethereum. Ethereum is at like 800 bucks, all right? Ethereum is at uh, 838, yeah, so $838. All right, now, let's say the market goes down. So you bought your ICO. Then Ethereum is worth 400 or 500, okay? Then your ICO gets on the market. Now, it needs to have doubled in order for your ICO to even be as good as your Ethereum investment. If you would have sold your Ethereum and bought back, uh, you know. So, um, you have to think about that as well, guys. Market conditions are very important when you get into ICOs. And therefore, I'm not buying many ICOs at all. And, uh, you know, the ones we bought when the market was high, like Apex, we bought when uh, Neil was at a uh, hundred bucks like it was compared to a hundred bucks and the other one was compared to like 130 or something I believe so that is great but um, right now buying ICOs no no thanks so I'm staying out of ICOs for now of course really small market cap ones like credits um, I will get into that because you know it's a great opportunity to get into that because a 20 million market cap for a coin that will have smart contracts that just that 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 gets to me that's cool all right anyways guys if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe hit that post notification button and if you've got any questions at all leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video